Welcome to Art Classes Ireland Practical Help videos. Today I'm talking to you about your palette, its layout, and how you hold it. First to note about the palette itself, this is a small, mid-toned wooden palette, perfect size for small daily painting studies. The fact that it's mid-toned will help you gauge your colour mixing and see your colours as they'll appear on your painting. Don't use a white plastic palette with recesses for holding paint. Usually they're designed for watercolour and that has a different painting approach altogether. Some of you may have been using tear-off paper palettes and these are fine if they're greyed out or if you're already experienced in colour mixing anyway. So the colours. Arrange them on your palette along the outer edges leaving a space here for colour mixing. This is my basic set of colours. I've excluded others when convincing similar colours can be mixed with just these. You can add more colours, but try getting used to these ones first. So start with your zinc white, a good all-round mixing white. Squeeze out a good amount as it's almost always the first to be used up. Follow that with a lemon yellow. It's a cool yellow. Squeeze out a small amount as a little goes a long way. Follow that with cadmium yellow. That's your warm yellow. And your cadmium red, which is your warm red. Next is alizarin crimson, or red madder, or permanent rose, and these are your cool reds. In the corner here we have burnt umber. In fact, it's a warm, dull yellow. It's indispensable for sketching out your composition and painting dark, warm backgrounds. Following this, we have sap green. It's a good all-round green. It's transparent and cool, but makes a good natural green hue when mixed with cadmium yellow and a little touch of cadmium red. Here we have ultramarine blue. It's a warmish blue tending towards violet. When mixed with burnt umber it makes a warmish black. And lastly we have ivory black. It's a cool black, good for making shadow tones. I find this is the value of having ivory black on your palette. If you just mix up burnt umber with ultramarine blue, the resulting black will be too warm for certain shadow colours. When you go to paint, have all the colours you need placed out the same way every time. Whatever order you settle on, stick to it. It'll save you time and frustration if you don't have to start rummaging through your tubes of paints looking for the right colour in the middle of the painting session. So how do you hold your palette? You put your left thumb up through the hole and balance the end of your palette on the crook of your left arm. This way you can hold the palette up to your subject to gauge your colours. You also now have a free hand to hold other essential pieces of equipment, for example here a rag and another couple of brushes, leaving your right hand free to paint away. So that's it about palettes. Goodbye and happy painting from me, Kevin McSherry at artclassesireland.com.